Image comparison or image compare, not a new concept and not something you'll need frequently unless you do a lot of before after photography kind of displays on your site. That said, when you do need to display a before after set of images, then this free widget from Happy Add-ons for Elementor will fit the bill. Here we are on one of the demo pages for Happy Add-ons looking at the before after. And I think you definitely have a good idea of what the before after does. It takes two images, it overlays them, and then you have this slider that can do a before and after for that. You've seen this on websites. Here you have one that moves vertically. <laughs> That's quite a big change. And you can also do products. And I often like to even do that for cooking sites where I have the ingredients on one side and then I have the final dish on the other side. This can become very gimmicky and I only see really the application usually for this on photography sites. The great thing about Happy Add-ons is that the feature live copy here allows you to copy this entire demo and just paste it on your site. Let's do that live copy, wait for it to say copied. And once it says that, you can go to Elementor, go to any section, right click and then select X paste, live paste. And that's going to bring in that demo content that we had just seen. It's selected. You'll see up here it says image compare. This is the before photo image and over here the after image. And these you'll bring in from your media library. You can also change the label. You don't have to say before and after. You can change it to whatever you please. Settings down here gives you the visibility ratio. Currently it's set to 50%, which means that this slider will appear here in the middle. And when people load the page, let's say we bring it over here, then 20% of this image is going to show and 80% of this image. It depends on which one you want your viewers to see first and if you require interaction. For example, in this case, let's start with the before and we'll drag it, let's say up to 80% here, because what you actually want to encourage the visitor to do is to grab the slider and drag it to the left so that they can have that interaction. Here is horizontal, you can switch it to vertical and you also have an overlay. Currently the overlay is set transparent, but it's a good idea to hide it in case you don't want an overlay. Your move handle over here on swipe, which means click and drag or on click or on a hover. On swipe is a good default, leave it there. As you go into responsive design, you will see that it plays very well and it will also work well on smaller devices.